Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Mando, coming at y'all with the $30,000 sneaker collection video. We got a lot of shoes to talk about today. I'm going to pull out each one, give y'all the individual up-close view on them, just yap a little bit, talk about which ones are my favorite, you know, how I got them, where I got them, a little backstory on some of them. But yeah, we're just going to have a good time today, chill, kick back, and talk about some sneakers. So if that's your thing, we came to the right spot. Obviously, looking, you guys can see, I, I display my sneakers so that you can see them clearly. So I'm not hiding anything. You know, like I said, I'm just going to talk individually. But if you're just here to see them all and then get the fuck out, then you do you. But yeah, starting off with the layout, I did this very particularly. If you take a look at this bottom row, it goes dark as black to then kind of like black with some white and then black a little more white. And then this second row starts out mostly white with the black and dark gray, light gray to all white. And then the third row is this tan slash like neutral beige color. So these are like no color to like get into that neutral tone, the bottom three. And then coming from up here, we have the what the or kind of rainbow colorways. So as you see, they're mismatched. That's why they're positioned the way they are. But this row is rainbow. And then the row under it is individually rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And then it starts to get a little bit crazy. I just kind of went, I went the SpongeBob collection here. But that's just a layout. Let's talk about each one individually. So starting off right here, we got the what the what the Kobe eights. If you a sneakerhead, you know about these. If you a hooper, you know about these. Fire shoe. These are re-releasing next year, 2025. So if you ain't get them, you can get them next year. Fire pair. You got you got to rock with Kobe's. You're gonna see my Kobe collection is definitely up there. We got a lot of Kobe's in the collection. Next up, we got the LeBron 21s. These are a hoop shoe. I haven't been wearing them too much because they're 10 and a half. And, bro, my foot just, like, shrank out of nowhere. I've worn a 10 and a half my whole life. Like, every, almost every shoe here is a 10 and a half. And I recently was just, like, trying shoes on. And I'm like, these don't fucking fit me. My foot is just not a 10 and a half. So we'll talk about that later. But these are the What the LeBron 10s. And if you see my boxes, they open like this. But I got shipped one of the boxes without this piece. So this one, I can't even open it. So, I mean, it is what it is, but we got them sitting pretty there. And stay tuned for the end of this video. I got a little secret to tell y'all, so you stay tuned for that. But coming to this side, let me flip around. We got the LeBron 11 What Does. I really rock with these. Take a look at the inside. You got the Fruity Pebbles on the inside. The bottom is rainbow on this shoe. And basically, if you don't know what the What the is, and it's like a Nike colorway. It's basically all different versions of the shoe from that year put into one. So it kind of takes from different shoes and then puts it all into one. And it's just like one sick colorway. It's one of my favorite. I mean, this shoe right here, it, one, it might be my favorite shoe of all time. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, what the colorways are always a hit. And then over here to the right, you guys might've seen the review, but we got the Futura Dunk. Super dope shoe. These are actually, every shoe is different in terms of like the paneling here. So that's a cool, that's a cool little Easter egg that they did. Dope shoe though, I wear this one a lot. Nice icy bottoms, not too icy anymore, but still a fire pair. And we're going to start from here now. Well, we got the Nike Air Force Off-White UNC. Such a dope pair. I definitely get some uses out of these. They're super clean. You can see the crease in there. I'm not, I'm not the type of guy to worry too much about creases. I wear my shoes. But I kind of got a reason for that, which you're going to find out at the end. But... Talking a little bit more about the Kobe collection. Can't have a Kobe collection without the Grinches. And, yo, I beat these up. This is, like, my only hoop shoe for a year. And then I kind of started really playing again. And I started to build out the collection a lot more. But, yeah, Kobe Grinches are a classic. Got to have them. And then these right here. This is the whole Kyrie 5 SpongeBob collection. SpongeBob Patrick Squibbird, obviously. I'm not going to take these out because these are beat. From I bought these in eighth grade. And I literally only hooped in these. These are my three hoop shoes. And I have to, like, used to play outside, like outside my house, concrete court. Not even concrete. It was like driveway pavement. So that is all I played in outdoors. These are beat. I'll show y'all just like, they're honestly just here for display. But they're, they're cooked. You can't see it too bad in the display case. And I mean, it looks sick. You know, SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward. I like how it looks. But I mean, you guys can see a little scuff there maybe. It kind of sucks that it's on this left shoe that I display, but still a fire pair. I love the details on these. I love details on every shoe. We got like a little SpongeBob hat there, Nickelodeon right here. I think there's something on the insole, but 
that's far gone now. Worn these too much. Little sponges on the thing. And yeah, moving on. This shoe right here, the Nocta Hot Step 2. So underrated. I love this shoe. This is honestly in my top five. No debate. This is such a sick shoe. It's so bright, which I love. And just the shape of it. I don't know. Like with a nice baggy pant, these just these hit. But yo, I wore these to a party. My first time wearing them, I was bent. And yo, I was jumping in the grass, like in the dirt. And they got fucked up. I cleaned them as best as I could, but they still kind of got some stuff on them. But I literally, oh, I was upset. Actually, now that I'm looking at it back, though, I cleaned them really well. But, like, this part was all dirty. There were streaks all across it. It was a sad day. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was literally at the party. I was sitting on the curb at, like, 1 a.m. with my boy. I was like, bro, my shoe. Oh, I was in my bag. But they're looking a little better now. We got them right. We revived them. This right here is another LeBron 21. Great hoop shoe. If you're a hooper, you know. But this one is fire. I'm not going to lie. I think this is my favorite colorway. And this one's a size 10. This is what I was talking about. I went down a size or half size. And these fit a lot better. But they still have some like a lot of space in the toe. Like, bro, I'm telling you, I've worn a 10 and a half my whole life. My foot measures like an eight and a half. I, I don't know how that's I think it's because my foot is so wide that like I never really had a problem. My my toe is like slipping forward because the wideness would kind of keep it locked down. But yeah, these are great. Jackson's great. Colorway is sick. Good performer. I like the LeBron 21. And then speaking of basketball shoes, we're gonna get to this. Ooh, we're gonna get to them. But right here, we got the Jordan Chicago one. This is just an all-time classic. I mean, Chicago one, Jordan, you gotta have it. I never wear these, I'm not gonna lie. I wore them like a decent amount when I first got them. You can see some of the creases here. Ugh, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's brutal. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's a classic. Good silhouette, but as you can see, it's my only Jordan one, and I never bust them out. So it is what it is. Good shoe, but just not really my my thing. But yo. Oh my god. KD4 nerfs. If you know, you know. If you oh, I grew up on these. Back in the day, these these youngins just don't know about it, which is like crazy to say because I'm low-key a youngin. Like I'm not old at all. I'm 18. I just turned 18, but like that 2010, like 2012 era of hoop shoes, like 2012, like 2015 Nike basketball hoop shoes, like this right here, 20, 2012, 2013, it's just unbeaten, man. The details on this one, look at the inside right here. You got the Nerf all around the tongue lining, KD35, the other one says Nerf, the splatter around the whole shoe. <laughs> I mean, look at this so tough i mean this is just this shoe is a shoe that went for like a thousand dollars and the box is sick too i can show you all that later but this shoe used to go for like a thousand dollars and they just re-released it like two weeks ago and people slept like you could pick these up for retail right now and they was literally going for a thousand plus for the last 10 years it's so crazy to me but it's such a sick shoe i hooped in i literally got them i hooped in them the same day i played in them the same day took them straight to the court bro it broke my heart See, it might be a little hard to see, but oh no, it's not. It's not hard to see at all. I scuffed them so bad. And if you see those two little blue dots, that's Sharpie. I covered it in. That was completely white. The, literally the first day I hooped in them, paint completely chipped off. This part was fully white. I used the blue Sharpie. It looks a lot better, but I mean, it's still kind of bad. But like I said, wear your shoes. They're hoop shoes. I'm a hoop in them. Back in the day, like 2012, 2015, that era, you would wear these shoes like and get it fit off like you could wear a, shoe, a basketball shoe like this and it was drip like kind of like jordans now the way people wear jordans like no one hoops in jordans they're kind of just like a, a dress shoe that's how it used to be with nike basketball such a dope pair we talked about the spongebobs but continuing the kobe pair we got the kobe 6 bca or no what are these k out k out my fault but yeah i got the insole in here to play in game day insole i love those yeah, I mean, this is a sick pair. You got to have a pink hoop shoe. Kobe 6 cannot go wrong. Love this pair. Pretty cool details as well. Actually, wait. No, I might be lying. There's no details on it. Oh, no. This, this has a little detail. Chaos symbol on the inside. Something light, but I just like it for the color, really. I mean, like silver paneling on the back is beautiful, but you just can't beat that. That baby pink. Beautiful. Now, definitely probably my weirdest shoe in my collection, no doubt. It's going to be these right here. 
Hello Kitty Prestos. Now listen, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. For the price, these are kind of fire. Take a look at the details. Hello Kitty heel panel on the back. Hello Kitty bow on the front. This part is like a silk lining. And look at the insole. Hold on. Oh, it's stuck to there, but look. Hello Kitty, Rainbow, Nike. Like, you don't get this shit on $200 shoes. I just spit everywhere. You don't get this on $200 shoes. Like, this is good details. But I literally wore these once, and that's it. I, like, I'm not. These don't get busted out ever. I went to the outlet, store behind these. I went to the outlet, and they had them for, like, 60, 70 bucks. And I was like, yo, these are tight hard. And the main reason I like them is because of the box. Once again, I have all my boxes in there. Maybe I'll show y'all after because this box is sick, too. But the box that came with these is tough. And it's like the box was sick. The shoe is sick. So I came home and I was like debating it. And then I went on GOAT. And it was like $40 on GOAT. So I was like, all right, bro, for 40 bucks, I got to do it for the memes even. But yeah, they don't really fit me too well. They're very, very narrow right here. And it's also just like kind of more of a joke shoe. So they don't get too much wear. But coming down here, we got some LV trainers. These are fire, bro. Just a white and a denim such a dope pair details and, and the materials on these are beautiful you guys can see it like i said very just simple pair but really nice super clean i mean these with a pair of jeans you just, it's an easy beautiful fit really nice shoe i love the lv uh lv trainer model it's tough so those are fire then moving on we got the ae ones this shoe is how i knew my shoes were too big and i think what happened was like i said my feet are very wide and when i bulk like when i put on weight and i, I like get fatter i guess my feet get fatter so when i was bulking and bigger like all my hoop shoes and all my shoes 10 and a half were fine but i've been cutting for a while i put these on probably a month ago yo worst hoop session of my life oh my god first of all but the shoe is beautiful these have they come with this like green back here i gotta get down for the camera i'm in 0.5 but they come with this green here actually fuck it you don't need to see me you just need to see the shoe and then i bought these laces and i put them so they match the back and i think it looks beautiful in terms of the looks great shoe performance great shoe i just need to downsize because look those right here those ae ones here these are nine and a half and i still have room so these are a ten and a half yo i put these on to hoop i got my shit broke Bad. I, I tweaked like it wasn't a full spring, but I tweaked both of my ankles within 30 seconds and then went to close out and got dropped all within two minutes. That session still haunts me, bro. I got dead, got dropped, like went literally fully went for the close out. He has he dropped. I got dropped because they were too big, though. Don't don't get it twisted. It was because they were too big. But continuing on the AE1 trend, I'm not skipping over these, by the way. I just very we already talked about them. But we got the AE1 low mural, and these got banged up too. Like I said, wear your shoes. These, I wore them a good amount. I just got them. I already wore them a lot. But something interesting on these, look at the back. The back comes with this kind of weird. I don't know why they do it on all these colorways. Like this colorway right here, the back is green, but those laces don't come with the shoe. Like the shoe is just black and purple, and the back is randomly green. Same with this one. Like, this whole shoe is pink. Everything's black. And then, like, this and the back is just randomly, like, yellowy orange. So I painted it black, and it looks fucking sick. It started to chip off after I played in them. But, like I said, you got to wear your shoes. They got scuffed up real bad, which fucking sucks. But it is what it is. I think the other one might be a little cleaner on the back, just to give you all an idea. of. Oh, no, this one's scraped up as well. Same on the inside. So, yeah, I mean, these are just basically have become my beaters at this point, but still a dope shoe. Pretty good to hoop in. They're comfortable. Good traction. They don't have as much cushioning as this one, so they use a different foam than the than the highs. So I would recommend the highs, but I like the lows too. And then moving on, we got some Louboutin steppers, the red bottoms. I've had these for a while. I got these for Christmas, same as the LVs. I haven't really been getting y'all backstory. Um, oh, wait, no, that's a different pair of LVs. Backstory, bought these, bought these. These don't really have no backstory. These are sent for a review. A little backstory on the SpongeBob's. I was so obsessed with the SpongeBob collection. 
they announced the Kyrie fives and the Kyrie two lows, like the whole SpongeBob Kyrie collection. I was obsessed. I literally set it as my background on my computer before they dropped, like when they announced it, obsessed. I put all three of my car and bought them on my dad's card. And I tried to like play that shit off. He's like, why'd you buy three shoes or whatever? I was like, oh, I'm going to resell them and shit. And that was five years ago. <laughs> so yeah, I was obsessed with those three. Um, but yeah, I mean, other ones don't have too much of a story. I talked about these and like their past. They used to go for advance. I mean, that was always a grail. And then these, I got these for my birthday. Such a tough shoe. But yeah, these came from for Christmas, I think two or three years ago at this point. But it's a crazy shoe. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's a very crazy, crazy shoe. And I got to get these angles right, like I said. But let me just put this up here. Obviously, Louboutin, like their thing is these spikes and the red bottom, obviously. But it's a crazy shoe, but I like it. I remember I opened these on Christmas and I was like, all right, like, okay. Because listen, I'm, a, I'm like, I'm out there when it comes to like fashion and sneakers and stuff. Like you can see on the court, I'm definitely wearing bright shit. But even off the court, like I know I got a lot more neutral. So all I do is really wear black. It's, it's kind of hard. I'm either wearing black or some colorful shit or tan. So I, I guess I guess I wear everything. I really can't. But no, I, I do bust these out a lot. They are a little bit crazy, but I like them. So I wear red too. I wear red and black a lot. So it works. And then right here, this one's broken, but it actually works. This whole panel comes off. But like I said, it works out because the Tims are so big, they don't fit with this piece. Like, I mean, they probably would, but it just makes it easier, honestly. But yeah, I mean, not too much to talk about here with the Tims. This is another shoe. I put these on, I think, like a week ago. Massive. I think these are a 10 as well. Yeah. Yeah, these are a 10. Or no, maybe they're a 10 and a half. I don't know if they do half sizes. But like I said, I guess my foot, like since it got like less fat, it was literally like walking around in a size 15. So I don't know. I might honestly have to sell these and get a smaller size because they are fucking huge on me. But I mean, in terms of the shoe itself, I absolutely love Tim's. Like I said, I busted them out a week ago. Fall, winter, these are getting used. I mean, they go so good. Camo pants, any type of cargo pants, really. Get yourself a pair of Tim's. If you like are into fashion and you want to look good, dress good, you got to have Tim's in the collection. That's... Without a doubt. And here we go. Like I said, a little bit tough to get in there, but we got it done. All right. Moving on to more of the beige section. We got one of my favorites for sure. The Travis Scott SB Low right here. Such a sick shoe. And I mean that beige. You guys can see I have a fair share of beige. And we're going to get to the ones on the top as well. I almost forgot about those. But I got a nice collection of beige because it just matches with everything. As I mentioned, I'm wearing either black or beige. 90% of the time, so really dope shoe. We got the puffy kind of laces, puffy tongue here. Insoles, got the bandana, pink on the inside, swoosh, bandana around. These are actually really clean. What the fuck? I've worn these a good amount of times. These literally look dead stock. That's crazy. No, <laughs> you <know>, imagine? <laughs> That's disgusting. All right, now moving on to a shoe that is definitely, definitely in the top five. Probably even the top three. Maybe even a little higher. But the off-white four in the sale colorway. These are an absolute classic. My favorite Jordan 4 by a landslide. And probably my favorite off-white. I'm not going to lie. These are just, like I said, I'm wearing beige or cream a lot of the time. And these go with everything. Such a nice shoe. And it kind of fits it like it's like the Tim. I like the Tims with cargos. These go super well with cargos as well. But it's also a silhouette you could wear with shorts. And it's just like as they start to yellow as well, it, it kind of blends in. Like this is a shoe that's going to yellow really bad over time. But it works because it kind of just fits in with the colorway. But yeah, I love the details on these. The laces. I mean, I know all the off-whites have them. But just such a nice shoe. Such a clean shoe. Such a comfortable shoe. A lot of people complain about the fours being uncomfortable. I don't know if this one's made differently, but the padding on the side, I don't know. This is a very comfortable shoe in my opinion. At least this one is. Goes with everything. Gotta be in, gotta be in the top five. Maybe, pr probably top three, definitely. I'll give you all the ratings on that stuff afterwards, but it's going to be tough. Now, moving on to the next shoe. I just realized we're doing this all in one take. I kind of rock with it. No editing. Easier for me. This is the one that you guys, I would bet a lot of money, you probably never heard of this. This is the Puma, I don't even know off the top of my head, 
Puma, Velophysis, and Pleasures collab. So basically, the Puma, Velophysis is its own thing, and then Pleasures kind of just, I guess, put their name on it to make it a collab. But this is a shoe that I actually get a lot of wear out of, and it's a really dope shoe. I bought this shoe, I think, $75. This is a nice fucking shoe. It's really, really comfortable as well. It's super comfy, and it's kind of like, like it fits really well with that modern style. Like it kind of has, it kind of pulls like hints from Asics and kind of Balenciaga with the with the shape. And I mean, you know, Asics with this. Like it's a very in style shoe, and it's seventy five bucks. Super comfortable. Couldn't recommend them more. There's a ton of different colorways. You feel the insole like this insole. You can see that bump. Like it's so comfy. Super super squishy. Yeah, dope shoe. It's very wide, like I said. You can wear it with a bag of your pant, or you still could wear it with some with some shorts. Really love the shoe. Super underrated. Basically, every colorway of this shoe goes like a hundred or less. So, sick shoe. Love them a lot. Great find. Now these are a custom shoe. This isn't a, like a real release or anything. I just bought these. I thought they were like kind of cool. Probably a waste of money looking on it now because the traction was really shitty as well. And I've worn them one time and have not pulled them out since. But it is a Kobe 5 off-white custom. Like I said, it's kind of just, it was cool. I had my Kobe trend. A lot of people think they're corny. But, I mean, they're cool for me. It's a good-looking shoe. I like the swoosh. Very unique. But, as I mentioned, the traction was ass. But also, I only wore them once. So, it could be a type of shoe where the traction has to break in more. But I mean, just from that one wear, you might be able to see there's a lot of dust pickup. So yeah, I don't know if I would, I would bust these out again, but it's a cool shoe. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Kind of a waste of money. Probably not going to wear them again. So it is what it is. Now moving on, getting closer to the bottom here. We got some Air Force Ones. Got to have them. Classic, clean, all white. Goes with everything. No need to say anything else. I'm sure you have a pair sitting at home. Now, next one, this is low-key one of my favorites. I can't lie to y'all. Off-White Hyper Dunks. I was searching for these for a while. So tough. I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I first got these, I think I had them at like one or two in my collection, like in terms of my favorite. They've definitely died down a bit because I've tried to wear them in-game. No. <laughs> no. Ankle almost broke on the fucking second play. I literally switched shoes like right when I subbed out. Yeah, I mean, it's still a sick shoe. I think I wore them to the gym before, but I just love the silhouette. The strap is so nice. The sole is sick. That orange swoosh inside, you know, off-white. The shoelace. It's just a really great-looking shoe. I just love the way it looks. I mean, I'm not getting a ton of use at it. As I said, I tried to play in them. Didn't go great, but I still like them a lot. They still have a, a nice place in my collection. And then moving on to a, you know, everyday lifestyle type of shoe. I got the insole in these too, make them a little more comfy. New Balance 990, made in the USA. Love the materials on these. I mean, you guys can see, this is like a couch. Very, very nice. Gray and white, goes with almost anything. Comfortable, in style. Not much more to say. Good shoe. Good shoe for sure. And then moving on to continue the LeBron, or LeBron 21 collection. Is another pair I have in a 10 and a half. I'm trying to get rid of the pairs in a 10 and a half. I listed them up, but I haven't had too much luck yet. But yeah, this is another super clean colorway. I mean, the three pairs that I have are my three favorite colorways in the LeBron 21. But yeah, another one, just really simple, shiny swoosh, good traction, good comfort, great shoe. Can't say much more. Moving on to the left side once again. We have another LV trainer. This one comes with a strap. This was the one I got for Christmas this past year. It's a, it's a nice shoe. I mean, black and white, you can never go wrong. I just, I'm not a fan of the strap personally. I do like the strapless model a lot more. But I mean, they kind of have their pros and cons. Like, I think this touch is really nice, which the other one does not have. I mean, this is pretty cool. The mesh under here, puffy tongue, very comfortable shoe. The sole on these, super super comfy but i mean the midsole is the same as the other ones right there tread same yeah i mean it's basically the same you have Lou, uh, louis and Vuitton on the other one that's a nice touch but not big on a velcro I'm, I'm not gonna lie still a six shoe i got some decent wear out of them I, I didn't wear them for probably like five six months and then i kind of 
bust them out a few times, but pretty good shoe overall. Nothing, nothing to complain about there. And then getting way down here. Oof. Probably should have stressed before this. Damn. We got the Black Cat Jordan 4. This is my only other Jordan 4. I had these sent to me as well. I'm not a huge fan, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Like like I said, I'm big on black shoes, but I don't know what it is about these. I just, they don't hit for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big 4 person at all. I know it kind of contradicts what I said just because those are like one of my favorite shoes. But other than the off-whites, I don't love 4s. As you can see, I mean, I didn't get these too long ago, but I have not busted them out yet. Maybe with the right fit. I don't know, but not huge on the, on the black cats. Let me know what you guys think of them. I know they're a shoe that kind of just boomed out of nowhere. They're going for like eight, 900. But another shoe we have here, all black. This is what I was saying, though, like how it goes all black and then black with some white stitching and then black with a little bit more white and then black with some some more white down there and then you, you get how it goes but yeah the travis scott one low i mean we gotta we got some a lot more travis scott's up here and we gotta get to that after this video what do we got right now 26 minutes unedited damn i gotta speed shit up this is gonna take eight hours to upload but yeah dope shoe good materials on this one i like it i haven't worn it too much i'm not gonna lie still pretty clean i think i've worn these once maybe twice it's hard to wear your shoes i'm not gonna lie like i have a lot of shoes like, I don't wear them a lot. I swear to God, most times I go out, I'm with my Yeezy slides. I've been wearing the Dior ones a good amount. I mean, I've been hooping. I'm wearing the AEs. A lot of my hoop shoes I stopped wearing. It's like 10 and a half. They're too big. These are 11s. I bought these in eighth grade. These are 11s. I don't know how the fuck that works, but it is what it is, man. Travis Scott one lows. Good shoe. All black. Not too much to say. I like them. Um, should we go to the other Travis's or we'll save those for after. I feel like the Travis's are pretty hype and it'll make it a little easier on us. These, some Dior's got these sent to me as well. Just some D Dior B30 trainers. Um, I don't think I wore these ones yet. I've worn those a lot, the white and black, but these, I don't think I've busted these out yet. I think these are actually a little bit more uncomfortable than the other ones. They kind of like pinch my toe and the tongue is like really short for some reason. But, yeah, I mean, they're all right. Not too bad. Not really a huge fan of them. But continuing the Kobe collection, the Mambasita 6s. Don't have an insole on in these. I, I switch out my game day or my, my move insoles when I play in them. But I got a lot of wear out of these. I wore them for, like, a good amount of my season. And the tread was starting to – it wasn't getting worn down. But the traction wasn't great. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of times where I was slipping out. So I kind of retired them for the last two months or so. And then they got their use, though. Wear your shoes. They they definitely they took a little bit of a beating, but it is what it is. Dope shoe. I love them. They have that glossy finish across the scales. Super clean. The lining is awesome. That's super dope. Yeah, I mean, just a black and white hoop shoe. Black and white, as you can see. Big fan of that. So I like these a lot. They definitely had their time to shine. And then last in the cases is another Dior B30. This one I like a lot more. It's got some good wear. I think I wore these actually. I think I wore these yesterday. Not going to lie. Yeah, I did. I wore these for leg day. But yeah, even these are dope. Like I said, a little more white on the tread. Kind of breaks it up, especially with the laces. So I like these a lot. They're comfortable. Good shoe. I mean, it goes with like sweatpants really well. It's just a nice going out trainer or workout type of shoe. It's a little bit more... Uh, luxury to it i guess now next up i guess we can go with these ricks i got these sent to me not gonna lie with you i do not fuck with them i'm gonna keep it a buck i really haven't even figured out what i'm gonna do with them maybe I'll, I, I was gonna give them to like one of my friends i have like two friends that would really fuck with this but they're both have small feet so i don't know maybe if you're still watching this and you want a pair of ricks comment below comment ricky ricky nah just comment like ricks Comment Ricks. I think they're a size 10. I think they're a 10. Yeah, I don't think they do half sizes. They're a size 10. But yeah, Jumbo Lace, Tall Ricks. Not my cup of tea. These are really big too. They fit me really big for some reason. My foot fell was just like sliding all around. I literally tried these on today. I got these today. I had a, I was doing a review for them. They just look like a fucking clown shoe, bro. Like look at them from the top. This is like just so wide. It looks like a clown shoe. And it's also like inflared. Like it's not flat. It goes up and... It, 
not not my thing. It's a very I know it's like a very acquired opium taste shit. Last Kobe six here. Kobe six dark nights. These are fire. I'm not gonna lie, these are really sick. Insole is dope. Got the tongue is red, the little red lace tips, blue on a swoosh, blue and red on the bottom. Just a really clean pair, and then the glossy scales as well. I like these a lot, not gonna lie. But I wore them, I think. I think I wore these like once or twice, and then I busted ass wearing them because the traction sucked, and I didn't wear them since. Okay, moving on to the last three. Closing things out. Let's close things out. We're closing them out with all Travis's. Travis won low reverse mocha, I want to say. This motherfucker has like 85 shoes. It gets hard to keep track of which one's which. They all look the same. But yeah, I mean, this is a really clean pair. I like this kind of off-white sail color. Matches the laces, the ones I put on. And it's got that white to break things up. And this kind of... This is like... I don't even know. Is that a gray? I think it's gray. I mean, it might, might be brown. I don't know. But yeah, it's a clean shoe. Um, I don't think I've worn these too much. These are big as fuck on me. I'm not going to lie. I think I got a 10 and a half. This was before I made my big discovery of my feet being extremely small. But the thing with these is that there's no padding around the ankle collar. So like, say a shoe, same exact length, but it has like this much padding, whatever, even like a little bit of padding. You know, my foot would be like here. But with these, my foot is like here. These are literally massive on me. But I mean, it's still a dope shoe. I like them a lot. And then next up, the Travis. Ooh, this one I might have forgot. What are these? Jumpman Jacks. Jumpman Jacks. Jumpman Jacks. I love these. I'm not going to lie. I've gotten a lot of wear out of these. As you can see, it's starting to fade. I think it's a little worse on this one. If you didn't notice, by the way, I have one of each shoe. I got to get more boxes. But yeah, this one's a lot worse. And it says Jack on the bottom, which is my name. So cool little easter egg but yeah i mean dope shoe i love the colorways as i said like this neutral this has a gum bottom and a neutral and it kind of has this uh what do you call it like cream i couldn't think of the word so yeah it has white cream and a gum bottom so it kind of can go with a lot and then obviously the brown as well it's a comfortable shoe looks good i really like these i i honestly hated these at first they grew on me a lot i feel like i had some other shoes that i hated and they grew on me aes yes I hated these at first, and then they teased these, and if you know, you know. They teased these and then didn't drop them for like six months. But when they teased these, I was like so hyped that I started liking the highs way more. But I hated them at first, and now I really like them. I just wish they would drop some better colorways. But anyway, enough of that. We're not talking about basketball. To round things off, we have the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. You might have to help me out here. Jordan 1 Low olive reverse olive i think or black olive i think it's the black olive or olive black it's just it's either black olive or olive black but i mean yeah these aren't bad another company sent me these company sent me all the travises i don't i haven't busted these out yet these are also very big on me i think these are a 10 as well yeah i got a 10 and a half in those and they were way too big so i got a 10 in these and still way too big they just have no padding here so it doesn't help I mean, yeah, it's a clean shoe. I have some stuff that I could wear with it. That's why I got this particular colorway. I have a, a zip up I like wearing that's green. And then I got some camel pants that I feel like it would match with. But yeah, that is the $30,000 sneaker collection. And if you stayed this long, then you would know the reason I put the air quotes is because probably, no, more than half of these are reps. A lot of my sneakers are reps. I'm not afraid to admit that. Not only are the ones that people set, like a lot of these I review on my channel and companies send me them for free. And that's so dope to me because I buy reps in general. It's like these were sent to me, 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 these were sent to me. What else we got? These were sent to me. These down here, the Dior's were sent to me. These Dior's were sent to me. And then the Black Cats were sent to me. So I got all those shoes for completely free, which is sick. But in terms of shoes I bought on my own, these Kobe's are reps. These are reps. These are reps. These are really bad reps. I bought these on Macari for 30 bucks like a week ago just for display, like only for display. That's why I put them in this case that doesn't open just for display. But yeah, these Kobe's are reps. These are reps. Um, these are reps. These are real. Reps. Reps. This is like a rep, but it's not even a real shoe. These are reps. 
Those are real. Black hats are reps. All the shoes that were sent to me, of course, are reps. Those Travis's are reps. And these are reps. So almost all of my shoes are reps, which, like I said, I'm not afraid to admit that. I play in reps as well. Like, if you know, you know. There's a subreddit. It's called Kobe Reps. Like, these basketball shoe reps are they're real, genuine, good basketball shoes. Like, they build them the same. But I'm not going to get into all of that. That's for a different topic. You know, some people feel a certain way about reps. They hate them. They'll never wear them. I could not be more for them. I absolutely love them. I mean, in my eyes, it's like a shoe like this, regardless of the hype, regardless of the status, I really love this shoe. Jordan 4 is down here. I love that shoe. I will never own that shoe if it's real. Could I afford it? Like, could I buy it? Yeah. Am I spending $2,000 on a shoe? Fuck no. And it, like, there's there's two main reasons why I say this. $2,000 for this shoe real could buy me this repped, this real, this real, this repped, this repped, uh, repped, real, repped. Like, I could literally buy 20 shoes. 15, 20 shoes for the price of one shoe. Why the fuck would I not do that? And the second reason I have, a lot of people like to make uh, make the argument that they hold their value. The real shoes, you know, it's like, oh, I'm buying it as an investment. But in my eyes, it's like, if I buy this shoe, right, for $1,800 brand new, which is like what they go for, and I wear this shoe one time, I put the shoe on my foot and go outside one time, I'd probably be lucky to sell them for like 12, 13, no, probably less. If I bought them brand new and then try to resell them with taxes and fees, I'll probably get like 16. So if they were worn, yeah, maybe 12, 1300. So off the bat, if I slip these on my feet and walk out, that's $500 gone. But if I spend 150 on a rep, I can dog the living fuck out of them. One, with peace of mind that they're $150. And two, they can get destroyed and the most I will lose is $150. Reverse or in contrast to wearing these one time and losing multiple hundreds just because of how much value they lose because they're used. So yeah, I'm huge on reps. I mean, I'm sure you guys probably didn't even know which ones of these are reps. I mean, let, let's see. Wh which ones you guys think are reps? We could talk about this. I know I told you a lot of them are sent to me. Oh, yeah, I think I told you which ones are reps. I'm, I'm stupid. But yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, did you know they were reps? I mean, I feel like when I showed you guys these on the camera, I don't think you would have known. Maybe some of you in the comments are going to try to act slick if any of you made it, uh, made it 37 minutes in. But like I said, I'm big on reps. Obviously, I got a lot of them sent to me for free, which is sick because I would have bought them anyway. So, yeah, super dope. But I couldn't be more, more for reps. I love them. They look the same, they're comfortable, and I could get shoes that I really like for a price that's not ridiculous. And then, yeah, to type to top things off, I got this WWE belt up here that's unfortunately going to have to go soon because, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, that's another row. I got another pair coming in. So I have probably space for about nine more pairs, and then we're going to reach the ceiling. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to lie, y'all, because I'm definitely going to get nine pairs pretty soon. I don't know where I'm going to have to put them. I really don't. There's not much space else to put them. But yeah, and then I got my basketball and a, sh and a hoop right here. Oh, oh, almost killed y'all. My fault. Let me let me get a shot up. Y'all think this is going in? It's obviously going in. That was a stupid question. Oh, my God. I undershot that so much. I'm like, I'm like a weird distance. Oh, I'm fucking trash. Bro. Yeah, I might as well just fucking dunk it. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. All right, fuck it. Ugh, all right, we hit him with the Giannis. That was tough, right? All right, but yeah, um, we're fucking 40 minutes in. Like I said, we were just going to yap about the shoes, have some fun. If you're a sneakerhead, I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, this is my sneaker collection, my $30,000 sneaker collection. Realistically, let, let's see how much this really costs. I mean, we're at 40 minutes. If you're here, you're here. We might as well push it a little longer. Paid 120 for these. I paid 200 for these. I didn't pay. My, my parents take care of me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and act like this money came out of my pocket. I paid for like some of them, but 
I don't need to talk about that too deep. I paid 200 for these. They're, all these go on sale for so much, so I probably could have got these for way less. But in terms of what I did pay, 120 200 40 130 This is a great deal. These are basically dead stock. Such a sick shoe. Free, like 150 150 Um, I have these retail. Like I said, this is like eighth grade, so I think they were like probably 150 a pop. 150 these are like 240 I got these for my birthday. 200 I think like 150 130 These are got retail. These got like two weeks ago, a week ago. Same shit, like 150 I think 150 60 free, 160 150 whatever. 110 These from 110 is fire. These are, oh, excuse me. These are a gift. I think they're like a thousand something. Uh, same shit with these. Probably like 150 150 150 75 I think these are like 110 Air Force is like 90 These are like 160 Actually, I mean, that's kind of normal. These, I don't remember. Oh, yo, these are reps. The new balances are reps, yo. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. The only thing that's crazy about these is I probably could have got them real for retail. But, I mean, what happened was I was doing a big order. Because, like, for Christmas or my birthday or some shit, I would get, like, rep, uh, like a big rep order, like, four or five pairs. And I think these were, like, 100 bucks. So, I was like, fuck it, I'll throw them in. And, yeah, I mean, they're not very comfortable. So, I put that's why I put the insole in them. But with the insole, they're comfortable. I don't regret it, though. Dope shoe. I got a lot of wear at them. I think they're, like, 100, like I said. 200. These are probably, like, 1,200. Free. 150. Free. 150. Free. And I think I talked about these free. Or no, I didn't. Free, 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 free. I think it's like 60. So yeah, that is my $30,000 sneaker collection. And yeah, I mean, I love my sneakers. I got a lot more coming. This row is going to make what? What are we at? Three, six. Are we at? Hold on. Three, six, seven. This will be the eighth row. I don't know how I'm going to arrange it though. Because like this, I would not put all of these in one row. They don't match. I mean, these two match, but like. This doesn't match. This doesn't match. I don't know. I'm going to have to rearrange things when I get more shoes. But like I said, I have a pair of custom Sabrina 2s coming in. The Yeezy colorway. Super tough. And then I'm going to have nine more spots for sneakers. And then I'm capped out for now. But yeah, that's all I got. Let me show you all some boxes real quick. And then, hmm, how are we going to do this? I might as well just keep this one clip. I'll just pull it off this, I guess. But then this shit might, might fuck up. Oh, all right. Y'all can come with me. So we coming in here. My room is like connected to the storage area, but we got a lot of boxes. And this is what I was talking about with the Hello Kitty box. Like, look at this. Oh, they're all stacked on top of each other, but it's got that right there. This, and then this is the KD Nerf box. If you guys, like I said, if you know, you know, this is what that shoe used to be known for. It was like, it used to come with a, a mini hoop on the with the box and it was like that was a special box but this is how these came retail still really dope six shoe like i said so far yeah i hit the ceiling on this i don't have any more space so i had to start a new row right here it's honestly because these brands started sending me the shoes i'm honestly going to start saying no to most of them just because I have so many now. Like, there's not even really a ton that I like left. And I got nine more spots for sneakers. So I got to start being picky. But yeah, that is my sneaker collection. 45 minutes into the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you made it 40, yo, if you made it this far, I might just have to give the Ricks to you anyway. I don't know what we're doing with the Ricks. But if you made it this far, what, what should you comment? Comment, hmm. Comment Nerf. I just got these not too long ago, as I said. These are up there in my top. Oh, I didn't even give y'all my top five. You might push an hour, bro. I'm not going to give y'all my top five. Comment Nerf. Six shoe. I just got these. I'll give y'all a quick little top five. I'll give you top five, no order. I think I could do that. Top five, no order. Off-white fours. Oh, man. The Nerfs. That might be a little recency bias, but I'm putting the Nerfs. I'm putting the Noctas. Oh, and I think this out, but I'm putting these at four. And it might sound a little crazy, yo, but oh man, that's tough. I think the LeBron 21s at five. This is such a pretty shoe. 
It's a good performer, too. It's a good hoop shoe. It's just so clean, bro. I would say probably these at five. I mean, I would put these at five. Just like, I'm never going to wear them, like I said, just because like, they're dog shit. I literally bought these strictly for decoration. But I mean, these could be five. These could be five. These could be five. I would say that's my top seven, then. We'll do top seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight E ones are low key up there too. Yeah, this video is getting up there. Y'all, I'm about to not be able to use my phone for fucking thirteen days. The way this shit's about to take so long to upload. So yeah, if you made it this far, comment nerf. I really, really, really appreciate you staying this far. That means you enjoyed the content, which means a lot to me. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, maybe a subscribe. I know this is different from a lot of my other content, so maybe if you don't want to subscribe, I can understand. So that being said, I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to like, maybe subscribe, and be good.